Welcome back all of you beautiful people, this is Deeper here, and as you can see on your screen we are back for some more Madden and now I have an idea that I wanted to do so I'm going to go through and play a game with every single NFL team uh, we're going to go ahead and get them off the wheel, I have a list right here that we're going to go ahead and knock out we're going to randomize them at the beginning until it starts get windling down and then we can choose from the list that we have but I'm going to turn these into a full game Friday is what I'm going to call these um, I want to do these for the newer players and for some players that just want a full Madden game of gameplay Maybe you can put this on in the back of your own gameplay Maybe you can watch this as a new player Maybe you're getting it for Christmas and you're watching this learning how to play the game I'm gonna try to post these every single Friday hence the name full game Friday Let's go ahead and jump through here now. We're gonna see what team. Yeah, we have to download this new roster An update just came out for Madden. I haven't looked at it too much. So I don't really know what they changed I'm sure it's just some stuff for Mutt. So we're gonna go ahead through here and just Pick a random team, and it looks like we're going to stop right now. So we're going to start this first full game Friday off with the New England Patriots. All right, so you're going to sit down and enjoy your time with me for a, a, about 30 minutes right now. We are just setting our offensive focus. Now, I do want to have a nice run game. We're going to go ahead and run inside, and then we're going to defend. I like to defend the medium or the short pass. Looks like he is going to be using the Cowboys. So I'm probably going to go against, where is it at? We're going to go against the, the, the medium pass where we're going to go defend against. We don't want him throwing all those slants and things like that across the middle or anything. So if he goes to attack the outside, we'll have to maple and, you know, shade outside and all that good stuff. Set our, set our boundaries. We'll see, what, we'll see what's going on. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, all those turns I just shot out, during this game you'll figure it out a little bit. It looks like we will start on defense, which is good. Get this kickoff going on. And now one big thing about this Madden is kickoffs are kind of easy to return honestly now they're kind of easy to return it looks like he's gonna take it out looks like he's gonna take it out and start his drive on offense now normally i don't do this you'll see a lot of cuts in my videos we're gonna go through here and set up our defense see if we can get a safety on the field we should be able to yeah we get peppers can we get one more we'll go mapu in there so it should still have duggar and phillips over the top yep perfect and then that should be a good defense. Uh, we didn't actually get to pick the nickel defense, so we'll have to use Bentley for the first play of the drive. We're going to shade back, contain, make sure Dak can't scramble. That's what we're going to make sure he can't do. Because I think he's got like 80, 80, 82 speed, somewhere around that, 80 to 82 in this game. So that's actually a really good speed for a quarterback. You should be able to move with that. I'm just going to move my mic a little closer. And we're going to cover the middle. So we got this, and that's ours. Oh my god, Jenkins, you have to jump for that. It nice hit but if jenkins jumps for that then we're going back the other way now we're going to get into into our nickel set so they set they're not set so let's go ahead and call a timeout not a not timeout but pause the game go into our depth chart and if you don't know what we're doing we're going to our sub linebacker and we're going to put peppers as our number one sub linebacker and then we're going to go through here and where is he at mapu right here for our number two sub linebacker and the reason we do that is because safeties when you put them in sub linebacker they'll play where a linebacker should because linebackers don't jump without an ability called lurker or lurk artist and in regs they don't really have that it's more of an ability for mutt so again you won't be having much of that in this game mode so you put safeties in there so they'll jump up and get the passes that linebackers won't normally reach See, I could play about three four yards off of somebody and still get a pick with a safety as long as I'm in front of them but, it's, but a linebacker won't jump like that. And that was a nice pass right there. That was just on our AI to, to mess that up. That was just on our AI to mess it up. It looks like he's going to take his own pause. He's probably going to set up his defense too while he's at it. Or maybe he thinks I was showboating. I don't know what he thought. But I hope he doesn't think I'm showboating. This is going to be... Uh, maybe it's a good game. We'll see. People in, the reason I decided to do this in regs rather than mutt is because uh, people in regs tend to have more heart. Like, they'll stay in games. So what we're doing is we're pinching and we're shading underneath. That way he can't throw those underneath rest that he seems to like. And then we'll also shade outside just to make sure he doesn't throw anything to the outside of the numbers. There's a run to the right. We should have people there. Oh my god, he juked him out though. We should have had people there. They juked him out. That was a big hit at the end of the play. Maybe we can make him tired. We had people in position in that position, but it didn't make the play. You hate to see that. Bring Phillips over, shade over the top so he doesn't try to burn us with CD Lamb. And then we're going to put him play out on the blue just in case it's a short route to CD Lamb. 
That way we put the blue out there in case it is, and we'll play over here with Peppers ourselves. Yep, this is what, that's what he wanted, and it was a bad throw. Third and inches is where we're taking it to. So if you don't know what we did there, we sent a blitz, but we put our edge onto a blue in case he does throw a short route to CD Lamb. The edge, the blue, will get out there and guard that. That's why we do that. And then we use her, the edge ourselves to bring over the position that's losing there so we can play the edge, set the edge if he decides to run the ball to that side. That's all we're doing in that situation. And now here, we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to put him on a blue because he might throw the little zig route to Brandon Cooks. And if not, then we're going to watch him with Mapu over the middle for a slant. That's the two routes I think he's going to play. So there it is. There's the blue, I thought. Oh, and he threw it to the other side. That was a nice read. That was a nice read by him. So I had people playing on the left side. I wasn't very well set up on the right side. That's on me. I'll take that. I'll take the responsibility for that one. We're going to play a little bit of Tampa, too, because he seems to like to play the underneath routes. He hasn't really gone deep too much on me. So we'll just have to watch the middle with Mapu ourselves. And then watch the underneath for our corners. Play outside. Make sure Brandon Cooks don't get open on this. That's what he wanted. I knew that. And then we're going to pick that off, baby. And we're going back the other way on offense. I told you that's what we are going to play. We made him think that Brandon Cooks was open. And then we're using the safety. You click on. And you go over there. And you make that play yourself. Clicking on is something that you'll need to learn very quickly. Because in that situation, if I didn't click on, maybe my safety don't make that play. Then boom. That's a touchdown. But if I clicked on, I drag him over. And I make the pick myself. That's the play I made. So it looks like he has... Demarcus Lawrence has no outsiders, edge threat, and Michael Parsons doesn't have no outsiders, so that's what we're going to run to. Because I know outsiders, if they have that ability and you run an outside run to that side, they'll instantly shed that as long as he's not double teamed. If it's a one-on-one -on -one and they have no outsiders, it's an outside run, they'll instantly shed. You don't want to run it that way. You want to run it to the opposite side, and Michael Parsons doesn't have that ability. If you need help on abilities, I don't mind to make a video for beginners. You can drop it in the comments if you want to see that. I will make an ab like a video over abilities. So you talk about the best ones and things like that. If you guys want to see that. But if you don't, it's fine. You can uh, go online and look up the abilities and what they do. But if you want me to explain it, I don't mind doing that as well. So we're going to check into this play. We're going to be looking for Parker to see if he sits down in that little zone. And if not, I want, I want Schuster, um, Juju Smith-Schuster. Oh, that was a nice rush. I didn't have time to look at anybody on that play. That was a nice pressure. That was a nice pressure. But I was looking for Juju across the middle. Because if his user, it looked like his user was running towards the corner route. Meaning our boy would have been wide open. And we're actually going to we're gonna change into a run. Because it looks wide open down the middle. Oh no, he's shedded. We're going to hurry up. We're going to hurry up because that play might be wide open. Our original play. Our original play might be butt naked. And it, um, that was good defense by him. I must say that was good defense. Now, or do we punt? Honestly, I really trust my defense, so I'm not going to punt here. I'm going to go for it. My defense played amazing. Drive one. To be honest, everything I wanted to happen happened. We got a pick. Not more you can ask about that, huh? And then they have right down this. Yep, this, the seam was wide open. He was sitting in the cover three, leaving the seam butt naked, and he didn't want to guard that with his own user. We're going to switch into an inside zone off of that big, big gain. Big first down. We're switching to an inside zone. Busted up field. That's a, that's a big run, baby. That's a good run, Stevenson. We like to see that. We love to see that. And then off of that, I was just doing coach suggestions. We're going to actually di dive into our playbook. Now, we are using the Patriots playbook. And that's another thing about this challenge is I won't actually use my own playbook that I normally run, which is on offense, the Jets. I'm going to dive into other playbooks. We're going to go ahead and play around with that on these full game Fridays. I feel like that's a, a better way to challenge ourselves when we play these reg games. Um, is going into it and playing with the, the team's playbooks. That should, be, that should be fun and exciting. But I do like the Seattle run. Uh, our first read will be uh, Juju Smith-Schuster. But our second read is Henry. And it's going to be quick. We're going to see exactly what that does. Okay, so yeah, there it is. There it is. That's what I was saying. Quick. It's a quick read. It's a quick read. And that's an easy touchdown. Now, I probably won't show, I guess, eh, you know what? I'm going to play the entire game. Normally, I cut out these field goals and stuff. And I was thinking about doing that. But I said full game Friday. We're going to play the entire game. So, uh, you might hate me for that. You might actually hate me for that. Please don't hate me for that. I know. I know. These are boring. Trust me. These are, my, these are the ones that cut down most of my videos is cutting out these parts. 
these kickoffs and stuff because they just take a little bit of time and it's just like mm, not much happens every now and again something will happen but not often looks like he's taking it out this time though looks like he's taking it out though and he's gonna start at the 17 yard line which means we will start in a new nickel form um, yeah I'm gonna play mid blitz so this one used to be really really good I haven't used it too much in this one they threw an interception the first time they had the football. I haven't used it too much in this Madden compared to last Madden, but this used to be my go-to defense. That might be an interception. That might be an interception, baby! Who were you throwing that to? Get you. Oh my god, who were you tossing that ball up to? Who who are you tossing that ball up to, buddy? I don't know who you thought that was going to, but that was not the read, my guy. He was not cooked like you thought he was. Michael Gallup is a big body, he's not a speedster. You need to make sure he's got a couple steps. Or you're throwing like a high ball in a, in a aggro catch type. Not like that. And that's an easy fit for Zappi. Can he make that throw? And Zappi makes an absolute steaming dot, baby. Let's go. That's what you get whenever you wait. You move out the pocket a little bit. A little bit of pocket presence. Look at that. And then as soon you wait for him to get open. And then boom. You got to have patience as a quarterback. Oop, I just hit my mic. You got to have patience as a quarterback. Now I'm obviously not the greatest. But if you can learn to have a little bit of patience and not get too uh, scared or anything like that, and learn to take sacks, you'll throw a lot less picks. So looking for the seam here. Oh my God, Zappy! That was a horrible throw, Zappy. So if you go back and watch that in the video, take this time to go back and watch it. If you watch what I was trying to do, I was trying to lead my receiver to sit down on that seam. But Zappi led him inside. Look, look, look. So the guy's wide open on the seam. But Zappi leads him inside, which leads him right to the defender. That's exactly not what we needed to happen. That was terrible. That was terrible throw by our quarterback. Now, you can say that's on us for throwing it in traffic, but I'm going to I'm gonna blame the quarterback for that one. That was a bad throw by our QB. But I could have set him up into a better position. So next, next offensive drive, we'll need to learn to... Ooh, nice shed, boy! Nice shed off the edge. We need to make sure we're throwing those seams at caution because apparently he can't make those throws. That's on us, though. We're going to put him on man coverage so he doesn't cook us on the seam. And then we'll watch Diggs our Make sure we put him on a blue. So anything flat we got now. So we should be good there. And then... Put him on another. Yep. We got everything we need, and then we'll cover the middle. Then we cover the middle. How did he catch that? Yo, nice catch, Brandon Cooks. That's all I can say is a nice catch. And we're going to go back into the same defense. I thought we had a good setup there. I thought we had a good setup. So we put them on man to man, and then we guard the middle. So man to man, and then we guard the middle. The middle is mine. And then we're there, baby. Big hit on Pollard. Second and five. We'll take that. We'll take that. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Put them on two, on two mans. Put him on a blue. And then we're back to... Oh, no. We didn't get to our user. We didn't get to our user. Yeah. That was a bad setup. He, he quick cocked me. I couldn't get to my user. I like that defense, though. I like that defense. He didn't really quick hike me. I should use a better term. He just, he just snapped it before I can get my decent setup. And that's how the second quarter counts to this two-minute warning. Play underneath. Make sure we have everyone on their own person. Put them on a blue. And then we're, guarding, we're using peppers. It's obviously a pass, so we're going to guess pass. Play over the top. Play outside. Shift our line to the left. And we're guarding the middle. And then we got the middle. And then we got the middle. Oh my god, if that was a good throw on target, I'm picking that off and taking it for the other for the to the other side. That was incredible. I was really unlucky, is what it was. He's a mapo, yeah, he quick tight that one. Yeah, he quick tight that one. Man, he really wanted that seam. We should have had someone there though. We should have had someone there. Maybe we'll guard that with Mapu. Maybe we'll guard that with Mapu this time. Yeah, we're there. We're there. It's not open like you want that boy. Not open like you want that, boy. Dak ain't making that throw. That's a hard throw to make for any quarterback, and, and no one's going to make that. On the run, back at the corner of the end zone, that's a tight window. He's lucky he didn't throw a pick, honestly. He's honestly lucky he didn't throw a pick. Yeah, we're there. Big sack, baby. Let's go, White. Off that edge. Is Judon back there? 
Junon should be coming off the edge too, and I'm pretty sure he has abilities. Does he not? Is he hurt? I don't I don't watch many Patriots games, so he might be hurt, and that's why he's not on. Because if they're hurt in real life, they won't be in the regs games. That's also why I have Zappy, is because they benched Mac Jones. For anyone that didn't know. So that's why Zappy's our starting quarterback, which is fine, I'll rock with it. Neither quarterback are good, to be honest. That's fine. And he threw it right at my poop, baby. And that's why you put your defense in positions to make plays. Let's go. We're going to adjust. We're going to adjust no matter what. And now we have 44 seconds to make something happen. So we're going to go back into gun. I want this right here. So I'm going to be looking for Davis. Oh, no, it's Douglas. My bad. I'm sorry. We're going to be looking for Douglas on the outside. But there it is. Looking for Douglas on the outside. And we get out of bounds, baby. That's a massive gain. So what we did there is we had someone running the under route. He only had one safety. So if you put someone on a streak, the corner's got to follow the streak. And then we put a, like a corner underneath the streak. So he had to pick one. And he picked the streak, obviously, so it didn't get torched. And we had the corner route. Perfect. Oh, no. And we're going to have to take our first time out there. Big sack by Demarcus Lawrence. Oh, my God. We tried to do something similar to what we did last time, but on the underneath instead of the over. And it just did not work out the way we wanted it to work out. Quick throw to the outside. Quick throw to the outside. And then we get out of bounds with that one. See, now he's playing off because he don't want us to get the first down. So what we can do is like, attack the quick routes. That way we can get some yardage back and make it a way easier third down. And if he's doing the same thing, I might go to the same thing. See how this corner is playing about five yards off. He's nowhere near. Oh, now he pushes him up. Now he presses. We'll see if we can cook deep. We'll see if we can cook deep. We'll see if we can cook deep. We'll can cook deep. And Zappy makes another bad throw. Zappy, if you put that on the money, we're scoring a touchdown. That's horrible. Come on, Zappy. I got trust in you, buddy. You cannot let me down like that. Cannot let me down like that. Right down the middle. Come on, make a big, make a big catch for me, big man. And that's Henry across the middle with a big snag. Big snag. Honestly, we needed that after the, after the horrible throw by Zappy. We needed that great throw. We needed that great throw. And I'm glad Henry went up there and used his big body frame to catch that thing. Now we, I forgot that we have Henry and Gesicki. Get rid of it. No, Zappy, you've got to get rid of that. Oh, my God. If you get rid of that, we have another chance to score. But now we're just going to take it to about three seconds left and take our field goal. Man, that's really disappointing to knock him away with a touchdown. I feel like we deserve a touchdown. But... That's not how it moves so sometimes. That's not how it moves sometimes. I was going to nail this. Oh, we missed it. We might have missed that. Oh, okay, we still made it. We still made it. We still made it, and now we're going into halftime with a 10-0 lead. Solid first half. Good defensive first half. An okay offensive first half. We definitely should have had more points, but and we're going to play to our strengths, so we're going to go to the inside run. We're going to make sure that our inside run is heavy. And again, we're going to guard the ooh, the short pass and the medium pass. He's been playing more of a short game, so we're going to play the short game. He might try to bomb us deep, though. As long as he don't have many double move routes, we should be fine. But if he does have any double move routes, we are, so hopefully our defensive line will get home. We're going to take off. We're going to take off. We're going to take off. We're going to try to make something happen. Okay, that was a nice return. Something was low-key opening up. It just didn't get there where we wanted to. Get back into our formation. So I've been doing a lot of gun. Let's get into the eye form because I do like the eye form as well. Let's see what this. Let's see what these got. Let's see what they got. Okay. I'm just looking around, see what they got. Seeing what this playbook has in store for me, I do like the eye form a lot. Especially if I'm going for like, if I'm like trying to grind out wins and stuff, I'm not trying to be flashy for videos or anything. But see, see the eye form in the run game is just so deadly. Especially when we set up where we want to like be dominant on the inside run, it's just so good. Stay in the eye form. If you're new to this game, let me actually slow this game down. If you're still watching this point in the video, actually, if you're still watching at this point in the video, tell me that. Just say the words I formation. That's all I want to see is I form. 
I formed goaded something of that sort just talk about the I form in the comments if you're watching this point in the video because I'm going to break down this game even more this first Friday game and we're gonna run the ball pretty much the rest of this game so I want to show you how deadly it can be I was passing a lot in the first quarter uh, the first half you can find your own passing game uh, I would recommend staying in the Jets playbook they have a lot of great running plays and then also on top of that a lot of great passing plays that's a pretty good playbook to start out with is the um, Jets playbook on defense it's really preference the Patriots ain't a bad defense but I prefer the Chiefs defense that's what I use but that's really up to that's really up to preference you really want the playbook that just has all the formations as many formations you can get really yeah, that's Monch. Baby, let's go! We have Peppers there! And that's what I'm talking about. See how he jumped up and grabbed that? I don't think a linebacker's doing that, baby. That's why you have a safety there. Now let's go back to this run game. So we're going to go into some... Oh, 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 they have a lot of single back. Oh, they have a lot of single back. Okay. Okay, I like the single back. So we're going to fake it like we're going to the right towards Demarcus Lawrence, who has the outside. And then we're going back to attack Micah Parsons, who doesn't have any run stuffing abilities. Let's see if this works out. Oh, no, he didn't pick up the block. If he picks up that block, we might be gone. But he did it. Back to single back. Back to the single back. Bring our tight. Bring it close. Bring it knit tight end. Have our tight ends here. Take it to the left side again. Attacking Micah Parsons. Cut up field. Big, big, big truck. Jesus Christ. Now it's a third and five. And now the thing is, if we can stay in this, and then we can boot out to the right side, right? So we can stay in this single back, and they have a lot of good passing plays out of it as well. So if you get into the situation where you have to pass, you can do a lot of play actions, which will make their linebackers bite. And we can roll out. And Zappy just don't have the quick arm. We're going to go for it on this fourth down. Uh, we could get the, the field goal and just go up. But we're going to go back to a little bit. Uh, watch this. Watch this. I'm a coach right here. We're going to go back to this double cell in. And if he's in the defense, I want him to be in. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. We should be good. Looking for the tight end there. That's a, yeah, that's a, no way he got there. Ah, nice play. That was a nice defensive play. I thought I could get the feet down. If you possession catch that, I thought our tight end would catch that. But you know what? That's a good play. Let's see if he's going to start running the ball. Nope, he's still back to the passing game. Oh, we were there. We broke it up. We broke it up. We should have had that pick, though. We should have been going back for six, honestly. That's okay, though. That's okay. That's okay. It is what it is. We take that on the chin and we move on to the next play. See what he comes out with. I should have waited for him to pick a play to see what we should have came out in. But he's not running the ball, so I'm not too scared of staying in nickel. If he was running the ball a lot more this game, then I would get out of nickel. But there's no point. He's not running the ball. I'm going to send Mills off the edge. See if he can get some pressure. Oh, I missed the tackle. Boom, big hit. Big hit, but we missed the tackle. You hate to see that. You hate to see that. Should have been should have been a loss for yards. We're going to put him on a blue. Make him think he's blitzing still. Oh, nice play. Nice play. When we pinched our line, Lamb broke his man. Lamb broke his man. He's going to score a touchdown off of that. That was a nice play. I got to give him that. That was a nice play. It's now 17 to 7, and it's going to be a lot closer game than what it was. So, hey, now we get to go back on offense and try to punch something in. Maybe we should have took our three. That's the gamble you take. That's the gamble you take. Maybe we should have took our three there. But 17-7. We move. We move. We move. We move. I'm going to take it out with Montgomery again, see if we can get anything cooking on this. Oh, if he didn't shed that block. If he didn't shed that block, we might be gone. So that's okay, though. Back into this eye form, though. Back into this eye form. We're going to see if this Willie is as good as it was the first time. Pause. 
Pause on that. Hard pause. We're gonna see if this Willie's good. Who we got? We got Kasiki blocking for us. Okay, good block, good block. Okay, now I saw the four yards. Eight rushes for 121 yards. We're gonna stay into this I form though. I do like this I form more than a single back. Kasiki seems to be a really good blocker. He has some good chips, some good blocks. So I like I like him being our fullback for now. I like him being our fullback for now. That was a nice block on the outside. Boom. Big hit. And there we go. Another first down. Moving the chains. Nine rushes for 133 yards. We keep moving the chains. We win this game, right? We keep moving this chain. We win this game. We're going to shift to an inside run. We're going to take it right towards Marcus Lawrence. Where it's inside, the no outsiders won't activate. It has to be an outside run. Like a stretch or a toss or something like that. There's another ability called inside stuff. That will stop inside runs. So that's what you want on your D tackles. You normally want no outsiders on your D ends and no insiders or yeah, no insiders on your D tackles. We're gonna make him think we're running. Take it out. We have him across the middle. Take that to Juju Smith Schuster. Cut up field. Get a couple more yards after the catch, baby. That was a big pass, big catch. Big pass, big catch. Now we're gonna take it to Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, we're going to get Zeke some touches. I like seeing that. I like seeing some Zeke touches. This is still an inside run, so it shouldn't let Demarcus Lawrence shed like that instantly. Yep. He still made the play. We got we got a quick five yards. I like that. I like that. Now we're going to go to an HB stretch on the other side. And I hope this, if this gets a first down, I know exactly the play we're running. If it doesn't, then I don't know yet. We'll have to look into the playbook. And Mike, Micah Parsons sheds the block. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to run. And that is going to be this fullback slide to the out. Because if he thinks we're running this football, but we throw it, it might be open. What we're looking for is a drag on the opposite side, though, from him. It leaves him one-on-one. -on -one. It leaves me to make a play. Boom, we made a miss. Brown cut up field. Make another man miss. Ah, oh, he couldn't make the other man miss. But we're going down to a first and goal at the start of the fourth quarter. But that's what we like to do. We're up two scores at the moment. So no matter what at this point, as long as we don't turn the ball over, as long as we don't fumble, we should be getting a score out of this. Now, we want it to be seven to make it an even better game for us. But we'll take three at this point. That way we can make it a harder game for him. We'll go back to this to get Ramon J. Stevenson back. And we'll go back to 95 Willie. That seems to be a good play for us. We got, we got first play. We got 73-yard rush. The second time, we got a six-yard gain. It's never been a negative, which is always a positive, right? Inside the seven, we need nothing but positives, and that's a good block. Ooh, that's not a, that's not a negative, but it's not a positive. It's not a negative, but it's not a positive. We might have to switch into some, some gun. Might have to switch into some gun. And we'll try to run again. We'll try to make one more run. It looks like he is stuffed in the box. He is stuffed in the box, which makes me want to switch, but I'm going to continue the run. I want to continue to trust my offensive line. And that's why you put faith in your offensive line. Because they're going to make the blocks for you. Let's go, baby. We set it up to where we wanted to make the inside run deadly in the second half. And that's what we've done. We pretty much run this thing down his throat. And that's great. Now we're up 24-7. to We'll take that. Much needed, much needed score. And I will be posting my losses as well. So, like, if we do lose, I will count those as well. I'm going to keep a tally of all the teams and scores. That way we can tally who played, what score we had, and who we played against. So I want to take a tally of the teams we played against as well. So game number one was the New England Patriots against the Cowboys, which we will take that. Make sure we don't get nothing crazy here. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. We're going to name it the full game Friday schedule. Game one. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Where we stand right now. Okay, good, good, good. So we're up 24 to 7. That's my ball again. No way, buddy. No way you're just playing this bad now. He just he just completely started like absolutely throwing this game. Shit in the bucket. So now we are up 24 to 7. We're gonna start airing it out a little bit, see if we can get our game going. We're gonna look for Parker. Now this was the exact same play. It looks like the exact same defense that we threw the pick on. 
As long as look, look, look this is the, that's the throw we wanted the first time for the touchdown. That's the throw we wanted for the first first down for the touchdown. That time we let him inside. That time we let him inside, which gave him a touchdown. A little RPO. Get off me. No. If you get that good stiff arm, we're in that for a score. That's okay. Though. We're going back to the out for him. But that's what we did. So we led him to the to right down the seam, which wouldn't let the safety get over in time, and we got the play. Now the first time we threw it to the inside, which is not what we were trying to do. We were trying to throw it to where we threw it that time. But Zappy threw it to the inside, which gave a pick. Oh, Stevenson down. And now we get to dial up a third down, third, third down pass play. So let's go back into our gun. I do want to overload a side. I do want to overload a side. That way we can get two down in the middle. Now I'm also going to put him on a wheel route. See if he's guarded. He is guarded. But there it is. It's a touchdown. All right there, baby. Put two across the middle. One of them's going to get open. That's going to Henry for another touchdown. We are up 30. One to seven in this opening full game Friday, baby. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. We've pretty much clamped them except for the one blunder where we pinched our line. Now, whenever you listen, whenever you pinch your line, don't do it. Don't pinch your line. Get you if you play mutt or your franchise or anything like that. Get you players that have abilities called inside stuff to rely on if you're getting beat on the run, or like play more uh, run stopping packages like four three or anything with linebackers because you don't want to pinch. If you pinch nine times out of ten, the receiver is going to get a really good break press animation and just torch you for deep. And I promise you it happens like every time, man. It's kind of ridiculous. Even if you have a corner with high press, if you pinch the line, for some reason, it's like the counter to try to stop the run because they just burn you deep. So if you pinch the line and they run it, you're going to be sitting pretty. But if you pinch the line and they pass it deep, like they go for a streak, a good 75% of the time he's going to cook you because it's just how it works in this game. I don't like it. Trust me. I don't like it. No one likes it. That's right to me. And that's right to me, baby. Another interception. He threw it right at me. I can't do nothing better than that. To sit in that position. And we are at the two, we're almost at the two-minute warning of this game. And we are destroying this kid. It used to be a solid game. Pretty close. At, the, at halftime, it was, what, 10-0 at halftime? 17 to 10 at one point, and dear God, and that's going to Stevenson, and he th Zappy threw a bad ball. That's okay, though. We'll take it. Zappy, 11 for 17, 215, two tugs. The stats aren't really bad, but y'all have seen that Zappy's thrown like three or four really, really bad balls. That should have been completions. Uh, that'll happen, though, especially in regs with your quarterback. Not all quarterbacks are Patrick Mahomes. They're going to throw bad balls. That's just how it works. That's just how it works, man. But, oh, Stevenson was so open on that underneath route. It's okay. We're going to get out of that one. I'm going to try to open some things up across the middle, though. I am going to test his user. So I don't believe his user is that great. Like he's never, he hasn't made a user play that's really like impressed me. So we're going to try to attack that across the middle with Henry. If not, maybe we can look deep for Douglas. And we can look deep for Douglas! Good throw, Zappy! Let's go, Demario! Nice throw, Zappy! That was a dot. That went a little quiet there because it didn't look like a great pass. But his safety didn't play as hard as I thought he would. Look, see, I was looking for that. I was looking for Zappy to throw a little farther back so he can I can pull him up. But the the safety didn't play it as hard as I thought he would. So it was a ended up to be a touchdown. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck on your side as well. And we'll take that. We'll take that because Henry was covered. So my second read was Douglas. And we made it to Douglas. That's a touchdown. We'll take that. Going up 38-7. to seven. And we're going to keep adding on to this lead until he leaves. That's why I, say, that's why I decided to do this in regs is because regs do like tend to... Uh, Stay in the game. Even after a beatdown, they tend to stick it out, you know? So that's like, that's what I give them props for. We're going to go into some quarter. I'm going to try to send some pressure. Uh, the blitzes I used to run are kind of nerfed. So I'm still laving up some pressure, some laving, laving up some, uh, some blitzes that I like, seeing what, what screens and what doesn't. Oh, nice pass. I thought I had Peppers playing that in a yellow or a green-yellowish color. Yeah, see, Peppers was supposed to be there. Peppers was supposed to be there, but he wasn't. So that's just tough. 
That's just tough. Not necessarily what you're looking yeah, to but play, you gotta but play that, buddy. Defense, I want the ball in the hands of X oh, yeah, that's mine. That's mine. You and threw it right at me! I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down. I was gonna go down so we can we can get some more offense in. Maybe he doesn't quit. Hopefully he doesn't quit. We're gonna go back to our I form. I should run this. I should, like, uh, pass this ball to get some more passing plays in. But I'm going to show you how good this run game can be. I told you we were going to run this second half, and that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to start it with another little two-yard rush. 15 rushes for 148 yards. And I think that was, what, two touchdowns? So that's good. We're going to put Henry on a streak. If the streak doesn't open up, we'll look for Juju Smith-Schuster. Get rid of it. No, I try to... I try to throw that away, and Micah Parsons is just too fast. That's on me. That's completely my error. That's completely my error. Oh, man. I try to run back and throw it away. We're going to look for Juju Smith-Schuster across the middle again. No one's open. Come on, Juju, come back. Come on, Juju, come back. Come on, Juju, come back. Did he catch that? Oh, my God, Juju caught that. Oh my god, Juju came back and caught that. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the goal line. And that's in this formation where we can have a bunch load on the right side and have two going across the middle, one's delayed. So he's going to follow B, and then A should be open. And he's happy to throw a bad ball. And exactly what I wanted to happen, happens. And then Zappy threw a bad ball right to the defender. Well, that's, that's just something you can't dial up for. That's just something you gotta you gotta take to the chin, right? That's just something you gotta like eat. That's unfortunate. But it does I mean we are walking out of here with a win, so I, I can't be too mad at my quarterback. That was a bad ball. We should have just ran down the clock. I know. I know. But I wanted to get y'all some more gameplay. We got nine seconds left. We only got another pick. We have picked him off seven times. You ain't gonna win no game if you throw in the throw an interception seven times a game. That's just plain and simple. You got to do better than that, buddy. Got to do better than that, buddy. We're going to bring Duggar down. Bring Phillips down. Guard the end zone. We should be good. We should be good. Boom. Big hit, baby. Big hit. And he's going to run out the clock. And that's going to end that full game Friday. I really hope you all enjoy this series that I'm about to do. And I'm going to keep track of it the entire way through the first game of the season was with the Patriots so next game it will be a different team so on and so forth until we complete every single team I hope that we could do that before this Madden runs out we should be we should have time to do that we should be good we should be good but that's the end for this full game Friday if you want me to make any type of video uh, whether that be like tips and tricks on different plays different schemes different um abilities if you want me you want me to show you the best teams to run with what quarterbacks you want to be playing with in your red games to give you the best opportunity to win your games um just let me know i don't mind to drop a tips and tricks videos for new players especially for regs or mutt and if you want any other kind of type of content i know i'm going to be playing lethal companies soon uh, some other horror games we got on the list so those will be coming out soon can't wait for those if you guys appreciate my content and like me as a person please leave a like on the video again comment what you want to see make sure you comment i form for me go comment how good the i form formation is because i you know it's goaded and i showed you in that episode i form is crazy and if you like me as a person and my content please leave a subscription on the channel it would mean the world to me y'all's interactions just make my day so much better until next time though this has been d brook and peace out.